Hey guys, we're getting ready to move to Samoa. And since we're going to be um, selling everything, and we are going to be selling this, but since it's just brown and kind of old, we decided we're going to try to sell it by painting it. So, yay! <laughs> Okay, so the first step we did was wipe it down, and the second step is to unscrew the dots off. The third step is to use um, gold metallic paint and spray it onto the knobs. So we have the knob thing down there. I think we have like 10 of them, something like that. And right now I'm holding them, and by the way, my mom's going to be spray painting. So, and don't let your kids spray paint because then it might get in their eyes or something like that. For the drawers, we are painting it pink ombre. For the real dresser, we're painting it gray. And my mom is going to be mixing up her own chalk paint with calcium carbonate powder. To make chalk paint, you'll need two parts paint and one part calcium carbonate. That cornering. Oh, that's so cute. Look at you. Look at you. Little scratch. I first spray painted all the trim on the dresser and drawers with gold metallic spray paint. Then I measured the length and width of the top of the dresser to find the center point. The Harlequin diamonds are twice as long as they are wide and I wanted six inch tall diamonds so I made a grid of rectangles that were six inches long by three inches wide. Then found the center points of each side of the rectangle to mark where each point of the diamonds would go and I used a ruler to make the lines for the diamonds. I used a black paint marker to draw over the pencil lines of the Harlequin diamonds and marked which diamonds were to be painted black because I forget things easily. And I used black acrylic craft paint to fill in the diamonds. I finished with the diamonds, but they're not entirely perfect. You can see some of the problems up close and it's a little harsh, especially looking at it compared to the rest of the dresser. Uh, I also realized the diamonds are smaller than I think I would have liked them to be, so I feel like it's kind of a checkered flag, even though they're Harlequin diamonds, but I'm just going to try using this lime wash glaze, see what it does. Hopefully it doesn't make it worse than what it already is. I'm just going to brush some on. I've read that you should brush in the same direction you paint and rub it off in the same direction, all in a continuous motion when you rub it off. And there are varying opinions on how fast you should wipe this stuff off, but I want a pretty light look. I'm just going to see what happens when I wipe it off right away. It's definitely more noticeable on the black than on the gray, but I think I like what it's doing. Okay, so this is a water-based product, so I just added a little bit of water to my brush. I wanted to thin it out some more, um, and it helps once you spread the product all over the whole piece. It just helps thin it out, even it out a little bit. This definitely does show brush strokes, so that's why you want to do it in the direction that you're painting or with the grain of the wood, if you're doing something with wood grain. I like that it's helping blend these diamonds better. I think that it's good for my purposes with this project, which is basically trying to hide the imperfections with other imperfections, I guess. So yeah, I just kept adding water to my brush to thin out this lime wash glaze, and I think I actually really like it. 